Hi everyone, Letty here. The Not Too Shabby Shop uh, alumni design team, whether it's current or past, have gotten together. We've got a fun little inspiration hop. This theme is summer and I'm making some cards. Welcome back everyone. So some of the design team members from Not Too Shabby, both past and current, are making some inspiration videos for you today. I do have a Not Too Shabby website affiliate link. I'll link down below. I am currently on the design team. Our collab theme was summer and Jamie just released this watermelon bundle uh, in the shop. It is sold out, but these are two of the items that are available. There's a standalone background stamp and a pack of ephemera with these cute little watermelon babies. I took out some items from a past box of the month with these two paper pads and these two packs of ephemera all watermelon themed unfortunately these are sold out as of right now at least the paper is um, but again uh, Jamie does tend to restock these and so pretty frequently and so hopefully she'll be able to get some more of these in stock very soon so you just want to always keep an eye out for that here is the second one watermelon summer these were both six by six paper pads again these were part of a box of the month from maybe one or two years ago it is one of one of my absolute favorites I've tried to hoard them but I decided to use up a little bit of the stash today and so I have two of the packs of ephemera that came with this box of the month I did already add glossy accents to a lot of the ephemera pieces so these are ready to go we do have a collab playlist I'll link it down in the description box below this is not a hashtag driven hop you just click on that playlist and you can get to all of the videos it is hosted by Lynn who is LV handcrafted today my project is watermelon cards I made a couple of three by three cards look at this shine I added glossy accents to my watermelon heart here um, I do have a Amazon affiliate link if you have not found Familiar with glossy accents you definitely should give it a try check it out click on that link and you can actually get all the specs and see what it's all about I absolutely love glossy accents and so I added a couple of pieces of ephemera some enamel dots added a little bit of scrap on the inside I did pop that watermelon up with some foam dimensional tape from Dollar Tree that was one three by three and then I did a second three by three I took this one big piece of ephemera and I popped it up on foam dimensional tape added a couple of enamel dots and then I again had that glossy accents on the watermelon itself layered up a couple of uh, layers of cardstock on the front and added some scraps on the inside so that is my second three by three card so I got two of those from my scraps today then I made three A2 size cards, all again watermelon themed. So I brought in some of the uh, ephemera pieces. I did pop up a couple of them with foam dimensional tape. You see here the little bunting banner and then the little watermelon. I added some enamel dots from my stash and then a couple of scrap papers that I had uh, left over. Added them to a uh, A2 size mat, which is four by five and a quarter. Added a little bit of a scrap on the inside and called it a day on this card super cute super fun i love these ephemera pieces they really do make the card very easy so then i added another piece of ephemera and i did bring in two of these little popsicles one uh, from each of the different packs of the ephemera so they're slightly different but i still like i felt like it still went you see here that the paper layout is exactly the same for both of these two cards i had just some scraps that were in that size so i thought i would just layer them on a piece of cardstock and then decorate the front so those are two very similar cards but they do look a little different now this one i did not add any cardstock layers i did add some ephemera pieces some enamel dots and then i just used some scraps and then i cut down an a2 mat from one of the sheets of the paper I did add a scrap on the inside of the card as well and then again finish it off with those glossy accents on the front so those are my watermelon cards that I made for today's inspiration hop from the design team alumni both current and past from not too shabby our theme was summer I used some items from not too shabby I will list a website affiliate link down in the description box below it helps my channel grow at no cost to you and I'll also link that playlist so you can get all of the videos from the inspiration team today uh, using those not too shabby items making some projects for summer happy crafting